welcome back in last video we talked about threads the introduction to threads we saw what thread is we discussed about threads how a, a thread executes multiple task in this lecture we'll talk about different models of threads so multi threading models there are three multi threading models that we are going to discuss many to one one to one and many to many in many to one as you see in the diagram many user threads are mapped to a single kernel thread in this model if any one user threads makes a blocking call or is blocked due to some reason so the entire operation is blocked so the kernel thread also gets blocked because of one user th so there are many user threads that are mapped to one kernel thread so one kernel thread is responsible to handle the operations of many user threads thread management is done in the user space that is creation of thread and managing threads is done in the user space so whenever a thread makes any blocking call the entire process is blocked say for example while executing a process a threads end up reading some invalid memory locations the thread makes a blocking call and the kernel thread gets also gets blocked due to this user thread so this is the drawback of many to one model one to one model in one to one model as the name suggests for every user thread there is a kernel thread whatever user threads are created for each user thread a kernel will also create a kernel thread so each user thread is mapped to one kernel thread it provides more concurrency so even if in this case one thread makes a blocking call another thread runs the application or the process with the remaining kernel thread so this model increases the concurrency but it increases the overhead to the operating system for creating the corresponding kernel so if a process has many user thread to manage those user threads the operating system has to create those many kernel threads so again one to one model overloads or burdens the operating system by creating many kernel threads for each user thread so you are creating the kernel thread may not be possible after a point as the managing these kernel threads will again be the overhead for the operating system the third model is many to many model so as the name suggests one kernel thread will be associated with one or more user threads so in this case of in this model even if one or more user threads are blocked the other kernel threads will manage the user threads and execute the task or continue executing the task so this multiplex many user level threads to smaller or equal number of kernel threads so there may be many user threads and the kernel threads may be smaller in number than the user threads or may be equal in number but these threads the user threads are multiplexed with the kernel thread so one kernel thread may be handling more than one user thread and in that case if even if one user thread makes a blocking call the other user threads may be handed over to the other kernel threads and the execution continues to run so here scheduling of threads is done so the kernel is scheduled a thread for execution so one if one user thread makes a blocking call with say for example this user thread makes a blocking call to this kernel thread so the remaining threads will be scheduled for other kernel threads so this is how many to model many to many model provides more concurrency than the previous two model so this is how the multi threading models are used in the modern operating system to increase the multi programming or increase the efficiency of the systems today's modern operating system are developed with the multi threading feature how the multi threading model can be implemented for the multi processor uh, systems also in the next video we'll see various threading issues what issues the threads face and how these issues are managed by the operating system we'll see in the next video thanks for watching the video i hope you'd like the video so see you in the next class